Hello and Chodesh Tov. Welcome to the month of Adar. We learn from the Talmud that when Adar comes in, we increase in joy. And for some of us, this comes easy. And some people love dressing up and dancing and drinking and are just in it right away. And for others, moving towards joy is a process. And we want to respect the time it takes and the energetic shifts it takes to arrive there or just simply to move towards joy. So I want us this practice to cultivate a sense of moving towards joy, inviting joy in, instead of judging ourselves or trying to be somewhere forcefully when we're not. Let's honor our experience exactly where we're at. So, let's see. This going <laughs> okay so i would like this class to be simply a joyful pause in your day a breath of space where we can allow joy in and on my way to this class i ran into one of my favorite torah teachers in the streets of jerusalem her name is yiska smith and she told me a uh, torah by rav cook who says that there are two names in the Torah for joy. We have Simcha and we have Osher. Simcha, says Rav Cook, is an external joy. You go somewhere and you're externally bombarded by joy and you feel it from the outside in. That's why we say in Jewish culture, we're going to a Simcha, we're going to a Bat Mitzvah or to a Bris, and it's an external state that eventually makes us joyful. But then there's Osher, and Osher is not external, but rather is an inner serenity, an inner serenity that is longer lasting. And the analogy is, if you have your ship built, your sails tied, then this is your inner serenity that can survive the chaos, the storms. And this serenity is trusting in ourselves trusting in our divine flame, trusting in God. And serenity is longer lasting. So even if we don't reach upside down states of flowing joy, let's uncover that state of inner serenity. So let's begin in a seated posture over the heels, hands on the tops of thighs, and simply open the chest Breathing the collarbones wide open. Just a gentle gesture of a smiling heart. And perhaps your, the corners of your lips come into a small smile. Whether you're feeling joyful or not, just a gesture of inviting in joy. and thinking of how you are moving towards joy. What are small ways that you are moving towards joy with the choices you make and the shifts that you allow yourself to have? You can also bring the hands onto the low back, really opening the chest, smiling, the collarbones. Nice. And slide the hands over the tops of the legs, come into all fours. And part of the dar is lightness. Whether we feel joy or not, we can practice lightness this playfulness on the mat. Let's start to roll around in all fours, either circling the hips or just moving the body in however feels light for you. Adar is about lo yada, which is beyond knowingness, beyond the mind. There's no reason for joy. It just is. So playing, exploring past our usual movements and allow yourself to push your boundaries a little bit.
where in your body feels light. Beautiful. Stay in all fours. Slide the right hand high, reaching through the fingertips. And like a bird's wing, sweep it under. Slide the hand under the body, right hemisphere on the ground. Opening through that right wing of the back. Sit bones are parallel, tops of the feet on the mat. And then reach that left arm up and over for a bind over that right thigh. Simply breathe through the body. What are ways that you already show up with acts of joy for yourself? Maybe things you do every day that you don't even notice that brings your body joy. Pouring a cup of tea, having a deep hug with someone you love, coming onto your mat. These are all subtle acts of joy. Release the left arm up and over. Inhale the right arm high. Exhale back to all fours, nice and light in the knuckles. Other side, inhale the left arm high. And swing that arm under, left shoulder on the mat, left hemisphere down, and reach the right palm up and over the left thigh or hip crease, rolling that shoulder open. I like to feel the breath here in the front of the heart and around the right shoulder and back wing of that right shoulder. Let your breath move through your body with lightness, with play. Just follow its pathway. And then release the arm up and over, back to all fours. Hmm. And simply step the right foot between the hands. We're on the fingertips, nice and light. Sinking the hips, looking forward. Planting the left palm down, we'll walk the right foot out towards the right hand. And bring that right hand onto the right thigh, turning the torso open. You may want to open the inner foot. That right foot, spinning it open. And let your breath relax into your natural state. Joy is our natural state. Sometimes we have covers over the joy, blocking it. But the joy is always there. It's our inherent radiant being. So perhaps our exhale can... Remove a barrier, blocking that shining joy. Let's lift that left knee up, holding on to the back foot. And notice how when you hold the back foot and kick into the hand, you bring some more lightness to the left hand, the foundational hand, shifting the weight of gravity. It's all about play, shifting the weight. Nice, release the back foot. Sweep the right arm up and around to the inside of the foot. Open the right foot all the way to the outer edge of the mat. Stay right here on your palms if this is really intense or come down onto the forearms. Spreading the fingers wide. Just bowing, looking in to, towards yourself. Sometimes we approach Adar ready for joy, already in a state of joy, 
and other years it takes a little more baby steps to get there. Be compassionate to wherever you are right now. Lifting back on the palms, sweep the right hand over, back into your low lunge. Nice, slide the right knee back into all fours. We'll drop the belly, gaze forward. Send the heart forward. Can you widen the front of the chest? Exhale like a rainbow, curving the spine. One more inhale, drop the belly, smile the chest forward. Exhale, rainbow the spine. And neutral spine will step the left foot between the hands as you sink the hips. Ah, I like to be on the pads of my fingertips, feeling really light in the hands. Especially if you've had a heavy day, it's nice to scan the body. Where do you feel light in the body? Right now, I feel it in my fingertips, in that left foot, in my chest, in my temples. Hmm. And we'll plant the right palm down, walk the foot to the outer edge of the mat, left hand onto the top of the left knee, turning towards the left, spiraling open, breathing here or going deeper by bending that right knee, kicking into the hand, shifting that weight from the right hand back into the left hand. Yeah, that feels fun. Let the exhale deepen you in to this pose. And I want to take this class slow so that every pose, you have the opportunity to feel the sensation of joy. Release the back leg. Left hand slides to the inside of the foot. Stay right here. Or come down onto the forearm, spreading the fingers wide. Finding that openness in the inner groin. Heart floating over the mat. The name Megillus Esther means, well, Esther we have means hidden, and Megillah means to reveal. So Megillah Esther means revealing the hidden. Sometimes the joy is really buried, really hidden. And Adar is the process of revealing the hidden. All of that joyfulness, all of the sparks of divinity that are buried. We have the chance to uncover it, one step, one breath at a time. Lift back up to the palms, left arm over, slide that left foot in, beautiful, and come back into all fours, light on the fingers. Tuck the toes and we'll lift the hips up and back as you sink the heels towards the mat. Feel the sensations of this first downward facing dog. If you feel tightness in the legs, go ahead and bend the knees. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And know that you'll have a chance, if not now, to find joy in this pose. Light bend in the knees, hop or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold. Let the spine melt downwards.
Let this opportunity be a joyful moment. We're breathing, we're in this body, we have this chance to practice. We're under the new moon of Rosh Chodesh Adar. All sources of joy. Light bend in the knees, inhale all the way up to standing. Sweep the hands over the head to the new moon above, welcoming in the abundance of this month. Exhale, hands to the heart. The Pri Haaretz says, the divine presence doesn't rest anywhere other than a place of joy. That doesn't mean if you're not feeling joyful, the divine presence is not there. What it means is that every place, even behind sadness, even behind difficulty, there's always joy as our inherent self, deep down, even if it's hester, even if it's hidden. Bring the hands to the low back, slide the hips forward, shine the heart, smile at that. The pre Aretz Torah, just knowing that there's always a spark of joy in every place, even in our suffering, even in our difficulty. And exhale, fold forward, hands down to the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down. Step back into plank or bring lightness by dropping the knees. We'll take a chaturanga here, dropping down, inhaling the heart forward. Exhaling back to downward facing dog. Ah, sinking the heels, finding any joyful sensation. Is there lightness in the temples? Is there a stretch in the back, an openness in the hips? Where do you feel joy? And we'll bring the feet to touch. Inhale the right leg high. Bend the knee, open the hip, gaze under that right forearm. Roll out the ankle if it feels joyful to you. And then straighten that leg behind you, gaze forward, step the right foot all the way through. Now we're going to deepen into that right knee. Shift the weight onto the right leg. Inhale up into a high lunge. Find the breath sweeping up the torso into the fingertips. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down to the to the mat, slide the right foot back, chaturanga, inhale, heart forward, exhale, hips up and back, ah. releasing any barriers between you and your joy, bring the feet to touch, inhale, the left leg high, bend the knee, open the hip, Roll out that ankle. Feel yourself wide and open. Straighten the leg behind you. Gaze forward, step the left foot all the way through. We're on the ball of the right foot, so the heel is up. Bending into that left knee. Inhale into your high lunge, really deep high lunge. Sweeping the hands up on the inhale. And exhale, hands to frame the foot. Slide it back into your plank. You can always skip the vinyasas and meet us in down dog. We'll take a vinyasa, letting the breath guide your movements. Ah, beautiful, feet to touch. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee into the chest. Rainbow the spine again like we did it in cat pose. Feeling the core and then stepping the right foot through. 
back into your high lunge. Maybe this time it feels different. Maybe the, the heart is shining forward. The chest is expanding. Nice, and then sweep the hands down. We'll bring the left foot in, left heel down. Fold the right cheek into the inner leg for pyramid pose. Both heels sinking down, lengthening the spine. Giving yourself space for pockets of joy. Nice. Step the left foot back into a low lunge and inhale the hands high. Feel how this feels different than the high lunge, maybe a little bit more supported, a little bit lighter. Palms to the heart and turn to the right, hooking the left elbow over the left, the right knee. Test your balance by gazing over the fingertips. Nice. Then hands to frame the foot. Walk the hands back. Fold over that straightened leg, pushing out through the right heel. If you have blocks, you might want to use them here. And these forward bending poses allow us to go into whatever is hidden and reveal the hidden, Megillus Esther. Sometimes the greatest joy is very hidden. And we'll walk the hands forward. Lift the left knee, slide the right foot back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet to touch, inhale the left leg high. Exhale, left knee into the chest, rainbow the spine. And set the left foot through. We're on the ball of the right foot, getting ready for that high lunge. Strengthen that left leg. Inhale, big sweep of breath, lifting up into joy. Exhale, palms float down to the mat. Bring that right foot in a touch, straightening both legs, heels planting down, and fold. Ha. Ah. Folding in to yourself. And you can tell yourself this is a joyful moment. Throughout the day, you can tell yourself this is a joyful moment when you're drinking coffee. This is a joyful moment. When you're saying to Hillam, this is a joyful moment. Step the right foot back into a low lunge. Right knee rests down. Inhale, hands over the crown. Feeling a little bit lighter, a little bit more supported here. And prayer hands to the heart, turning towards the left, gazing over the fingertips. And twisting back reminds us to look all the way back from where we came from. We're just emerging out of a lot of winter darkness, uncertainty, flowing into more spring consciousness, into more revelations from Megillus Esther, revealing the hidden into the revelations on Pesach. So we're getting there from the darkness into the revealed light and good. And it's a joyful process if we honor all the stages. Release the hands to the mat. Lift the right knee, slide it back, plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale. Down dog, ah. 
and we'll take down dog, slide it into plank. And from plank, we'll slide back to down dog. Try that again. Inhale, we move into plank. Exhale, we settle back into dog. Try these repetitive motions at your own pace. And with repetition, we can leave the mind and just get into lo yada, a holy not knowing. Maybe some of you have already, instead of a linear front and back, you can start to bend your knees, curve the hips, go in any direction. Just getting out of the mind. Adar is about beyond da'at, beyond knowingness. Keep going, exploring some different, unique micro movements. Maybe it's in the toes, the crown of the head, the elbows, some spinal undulations. And we'll bring the feet to touch. When you're ready, we'll inhale the right leg high. Exhale, the right foot between the hands. Inhale into a high lunge. And exhale into star pose. Heels together, fingertips wide. Beautiful. Feel yourself shining beyond knowing this. And coming to the back of your mat, we'll bring the left toes forward. Inhale into a high lunge on the other side towards the back of the mat. So the left leg is forward, reaching high. Inhale. Exhale, the heels together, star pose. Inhale, high lunge to the front of the mat. Exhale to star. Keep going front and back to the mat. At first, it takes a little while to figure out your footing. And then we can get into the low yada, beyond das, just the feeling of joy can guide the movements. Falling is perfectly fine. This is about play, going beyond our boundaries. Can you add some of your own gestures and have fun and play? Maybe you're off your mat. Maybe you're falling forward. Just have fun with it. Allow yourself to smile. One more on each side. Amazing. Let's sink into temple pose. Ah, shrugging the shoulders towards the ears. Walking from the right foot to the left. Hmm. And sweep the arms up and find any movements with the arms that feel joyful. Circles, maybe hands to the heart. Don't think about it. Just move them in however feels joyful to you. It's all a practice of leaving the limitations of the mind.
and then we'll straighten the legs, jump together, and just shake off anything covering over your joy, stuckness, stiffness, anger, frustration, fear. Just shake off whatever is coming to you. Removing the barriers around the heart, around the mind. If you're off your mat, that's perfect. Be going beyond the confines. And then find a stillness. Sinking the feet into the mat. Feeling the buzz of sensation, any joyful sensation, even just the feet rooting to the ground, or a feeling of warmth, the feeling of breath. Nice. Open the eyes and pop the right knee forward and out, kickstanding the heel into the inner ankle. And we'll slide the sole of the foot below or above the knee, making a suction here for tree pose. We just came out of two be spot, letting the tree of life express through us. And now we're opening to joy beyond DAS. So let's lift the fingertips over the crown. This is the Sphira this month of Keter. Feeling this holy glow that's beyond the intellect. Crown trees. Feeling that same crown that Esther had. The shining jewels, the infinite light. And bring the right knee forward and down. Drop the hands. Let's roll out the, the wrists in circles. So where you can even touch the sternum on each circle. of just awakening the heart's joy. Some of us may need some more tapping on the sternum. I've definitely felt my heart a lot today, so I won't go there, but if you would like to tap at any point in this practice, just tapping over the heart and over the sternum as a way to awaken that joy in the heart. And with that awakening joy, other emotions may come out as well, and that's perfectly fine. Let's circle the wrists the other way as we're bringing in, into the heart. Whatever we need, feeding, filling the heart with the safety, with the love, the nurture it needs to be able to express that joy. Hmm. And then hands on the hips, right foot into the mat. Pop the left knee out and then slide the foot either below the knee or above the knee, suctioning thigh to foot hand to the heart, and if possible, you can lift the hands over the crown, fingertips to touch, making a bright light of Keter. And this Keter connects to Orin Sof, the infinite light. And when we tap into the Orin Sof, we tap into the infinite joy that's always filling our being. Beautiful. One more breath here. Just checking the audio is still working. Beautiful. And release the knee forward and down. Hands to the low back. 
Rock the hips forward, smile the heart towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. And the feet are hip width distance, we'll bring the hands under the feet. So the toes are touching the wrists. You can wiggle the toes to really feel that connection. And here we've created a circuit of our being. So letting our energy just circulate from the hips, down the spine, over the top of the back, neck, down through the arms, into the toes, into the bottoms of the feet, up the heels, up the backs of the ankles, the backs of the legs, thighs, and up the hips. Circulating your energy, spiraling inwards as a way to deepen whatever joyful sparks are already there. Release the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat. Come onto a seat and bring the fingertips behind the hips. Feet are down and we'll rock the knees to the right. Massage that right hip and rainbow the knees to the left. Massaging the left hip. Rocking to the right. You can either keep the knees together or make a rainbow. Right and then left. Left and then right. Bring a little twist into the spine, back and forth. Making that rainbow of joyful colors. Beautiful. And then open the knees, bring the soles of the feet to touch. Butterfly the knees, holding the toes. Slowing down and just allowing ourselves to feel a joyful pause in our day. A joyful out breath, a joyful moment of sitting, a joyful moment of holding your feet. Extend the right leg forward and bring the sole of the foot to the inner thigh. Right hand comes down towards the toes. Inhale the left arm up and over. We're making another rainbow from that left hip up the side body, drooping down the fingertips. Side bends give us more space, more space in our being for joy, for Osher, oh that inner serenity. And the left fingertips come behind us, right hand to the left knee. Spin the torso another twist over that left shoulder, keeping both sit bones down. Looking back at our ancestor Esther, the Megillah said that Esther dressed herself, wrapped herself in royal garments, in garments of malchut. And malchut is also a sphera of hiddenness, a divine energy that is the hidden dimension, the new moon dimension. Wrapping ourselves in hiddenness. And release and bring both soles of the feet to touch again. Opening up through the inner knees. There's so many layers of joy hidden in ourselves. 
We just have to trust that it's there. And we'll bring the left leg, extend it long, right sole of the foot in the inner thigh, slide the hand down and sweep the right arm up and over, nice open side bend to the left, reaching over the, thing, the toes. Esther Hamalka, the queen of hiddenness. We all have a spark of Esther within us. We all have an inner queen. Reach the right fingertips behind us. Left hand onto the right knee. Twist the torso towards the right. Spiraling open. I like to open the left palm. Finding strength in Esther as we look back at our strong matriarchs. The strength in hiddenness and also the power in uncovering the hiddenness. And then wrap the legs forward to the top of the mat. Sink the legs down, inhale the hands, reach up, Exhale, fold forward. And this folding in is a process of digging for that spark of joy. That simple gesture. The turn of awareness from external joy, from simcha, towards inner serenity of Osher, that trust in ourself, that trust in our inner goodness, our inner joy, and that trust in Hashem, the, the guiding light within. And we'll slide onto our backs, bringing the soles of the feet down, knees up, and we'll come into some flowing bridges repetitively to get out of the mind and into the body or beyond das, rather, beyond knowing. So on the inhale, we'll lift the hips and sweep the hands behind us. Palms are open to receive the light of this new month. Exhale, hips down as the palms land beneath you. Like a wave, we inhale, heart lifts towards the sky, and exhale, feel the spine rolling down onto the mat. I encourage you to close your eyes, inhale to lift, Expand, exhale, descending down and grounding. Inhale. Nice and slow and steady at your own pace. And if you're in your thinking mind, just come back into the motions, lifting, and falling, the silliness of the hands as they reach behind us, the playfulness of the body, the fullness of the breath, and the safety of the ground below.
And let's take that right foot and put it over the left knee. Push into that right knee so that it's parallel to the heel. And then slide the palms under the back of the thigh or over the shin, pulling the knee in towards the chest. I encourage you to allow yourself to smile, even if it's imperceptible. A small smile that you feel, maybe no one else notices. Very subtle shift in your energy. Let the knees fall to the left. Open the right arm, gaze over that right palm for a nice twist. Let that left hand fall wherever it needs to. Don't think about it. And wrap the knees back into center. You can hug the knees into your chest. And then simply switch the feet. Right sole of foot down, left ankle over right thigh or right knee. Push into that left knee and then interlace your hands beneath the thigh or around the shin, pulling the knee into the chest. If you're rocking right and left, if you're finding circles, kola kavod, listen to your body, whatever feels right for you, whatever feels joyous to you, as long as it's not hurting anyone. And please allow yourself that small, imperceptible smile. I can't see it. No one else can see it, but you can sense the shift. And let the knees fall over to the right, open up the left palm, gazing over the left hand. Opening up our palm to allow in more pockets of joy. Cultivating joy begins with presence. Commitment to being present with your current emotional state, to honoring whatever you're experiencing. And only then can you also experience the joyous state. So bringing your whole presence now into this posture, into this breath, into this moment and draw the knees back up into your chest give them a hug and then open the feet into happy baby holding the outer edges of the heels rocking right and left sometimes joy is just having a curious wonder like a newborn baby eyes of wonder discovering your toes for the first time Feeling the amazement of walking, of rocking. It's a very pure child state of joy. So thanks for thanks to Happy Baby Pose to remind us to go into our inner child and play. And bring the heels down, just holding the tops of the feet. Resting here in this posture. And 
and then opening up into final relaxation pose, Shabbat pose, opening the palms. I want us to stay embodied through this final relaxation. So on the inhale, let's imagine the breath coming in through our Keter, the Sphira this month, the crown of the head. So the inhale draws through the crown all the way to the navel. Exhale out your navel, right? Like right out the belly button. We'll try that a few times. Inhale from the crown, down all the way the torso, exhaling out the navel. A few more moments like that. Now we'll bring it up a notch, inhaling in through the crown and exhaling out the heart. Can you stay embodied with the breath, inhaling through the crown, exhaling through the heart. We'll bring it up even higher, inhaling through the crown, exhaling through the throat. And we'll lift it up, inhaling through Keter, the crown, exhaling out the third eye, that forehead space.
I want us to imagine and feel the sense that Keter, this crown space, is connected to the divine realms. It's connected to infinity and to infinite joy. So like a bucket of joy pouring down on us from above, all we need to do is receive it and direct it through, through us, through the body. We can direct it through the mind, through the throat, through our voice. We can direct it through the heart. We can direct it through the breath. It's always pumping. It's always alive in us. And I bless us to continue being a channel for joy. Whether we experience it or not, it's always there. It's just about revealing the hidden. Have a beautiful Adar. I'm Jenna. Please reach out if you have any questions, comments. I'm here for you. May it be a month filled with joy and filled with presence and oh share. Thank you.